Hey, what's up guys? So just wanted to give you a quick update on a project I've been working on for a very long time called Trigboard. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are actually quite familiar with this with this project and what it can do and everything. And I have made videos in the past with projects based on the Trigboard, uh, but wanted to make this video because I just released the latest version of the Trigboard, which is V7, and added some features to this board that make it even better. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about those features and we will get into those features in future videos and take deep dives into how they work. But um, also let you know that I spun up a small batch of these boards and they are available on my Tindy store. So if you're interested, check that out. So in case you're not familiar with the trig board, let me just kind of break it down and show you what it can do. So this board is what I consider the perfect IoT device because it sits in the background, it does its job, it does it very well, and you don't have to worry about it. It's kind of a set it and forget it kind of device. And it is battery powered thanks to the special low power circuitry on the board. So right now it is sleeping at less than one microamp. And if you imagine this being a door or a window or a mailbox or a garage or whatever, and we trigger it, with this simple door sensor. It wakes the board up, it connects to the Wi-Fi network, and then it sends a push notification out using Push Safer, which is the push notification service. So if you're on vacation away from your house or whatever, you get that push notification instantly on your smartphone. And the cool thing is, since we're using Push Safer for this, you don't need to go out and design your own app or anything. The Push Safer app is a free download from the App Store. And um, so that's what it does. But as I found out with Trigboard, it can do a lot more than just that. Because it has that low power circuitry, I also included on there a timer that wakes it up once an hour. So some of the things I do at the board are like a weather station sort of uh, thing where once an hour, it wakes up and checks a weather sensor and reports that out. Like, check this out. This is um, my io.adafruit dashboard here showing me the temperature, pressure, humidity for a board I've got out on the porch. It's all logged here. I also have a board in the backyard um, hooked up to a temperature sensor, which is in my hot tub, so that I know what the temperature of the water is, which is also kind of useful. Um, and again, it's on every door in my house, the mailbox, the garage. I even hacked one into the doorbell. So if somebody rings the doorbell, I get that push notification. So, oh, and we've done a lot of other things. Like I hooked this up to an e-paper display. Um, one project was with a camera. So once an hour or with whenever it got triggered, it would take a picture and upload the picture out. So a lot of useful things we can do at the trig board. But with the new V7 board, I added one very cool feature that I just want to quickly show you. So check this out. So just like previous versions of the board, I have a wiki page for it, which has a ton of information about the board, how to get up and running with it, links to all of the recommended parts, uh, projects I've worked on. It's, it also has the base firmware here um, that I actually ship with every single board and how to get that all installed and compiled correctly. So there's just a lot of information up here. But if we go to the base firmware here, I actually already have that pulled down and successfully uh, compiling here. Um, so if you remember the previous version of the board, I had buttons on the board that you had to uh, very specifically press and hold to get it into programming mode. In this version of the board, it's actually much easier now to upload the code. So we're going to use my USB to serial converter that I designed, which is based on a genuine FTDI chip. And uh, I like using this board just because I know it works and it works quite well. So the jumpers are set to power off and 3.3 volts. And let me show you how easy this is now to upload code. So all we have to do now is press upload. And then on the back side of the board, what we'll do, as soon as we see this go to uploading, we'll just press the wake button. And then it takes over. And now the code is uploading. You see it there. How cool is that? 
So basically what I designed into this board is an auto reset circuit that uses the DTR line from the FTDI programmer to put it into programming mode. So very cool stuff. And I will make a whole video on that circuit and how it works. And it's, I'm not sure if, uh, if it's ever been done before. It might, might have been, but anyway, uh, let me do that again just to show you. So we're gonna click upload. And then just as soon as we see it change from compiling to uploading, press that wake button. And then you'll see the LED turn off and then it takes over and uploads code. So very easy to develop now on the trig board without messing around with those buttons or anything like that. Um, so the reason though, you might be wondering, well, oh, well the, the EndNote MCU or the Feather Husa board, you don't have to do that either. And that's because they actually embedded the USB to serial chip on their board. I didn't really have the space for that. And I also wanted to keep the cost as low as possible on the board. So in case you're wondering, uh, why didn't I just put the chip on there? Well, that's why. So uh, that's, I think, the killer new feature of the TrigBoard V7. But also go to the wiki and just kind of skim through this and you'll see some of the other things that I added in. There's the diagram showing you all of the expansion pads and um, the whole push safer um, uh, installation, how you get all that going. I'll be adding a lot more information to the wiki too, sort of as I uh, have time. But anyway, just wanted to give you that quick update. And again, if you're interested, check it out. They are available up on the Tindy store. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching.